Hey everyone, and welcome back. I am Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming, and we are going to cover the top 26. That's right, 26 most valuable cards in the current standard, and why they're at that price. Just a quick reminder, you can support the channel for free simply by subscribing. And I do appreciate when you watch. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's get into this madness. We're going to go from bottom to top. At eight bucks, this thing came out in standard. Really, it was at a higher price point. I think it was sitting at like 14, 15 bucks. It has dropped all the way to eight dollars, and I do expect it to drop a little bit more. It's only really seeing play in about one deck. That's really about it. If it finds its way into another deck, God bless it. But uh, right now, eight bucks, Ralb, I would wait a little bit to pick up a new one. Twilight Prophet, 865. This thing really has stayed around this price for quite some time it's from Rivals of Ixalan. But it's just a nasty card. Uh, it's one of my favorite cards to play with. It, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the city's blessing, you reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, or X is that card's converted mana cost. It runs great in decks where you have higher casting in your, uh, in your converted cost, but holy smokes. 865, I think that's a fair price for this card, honestly. I'm not sure what's going to happen after rotation. Risk factor, $9.60. Yeah, it is, it's seeing a lot of play in those mono red decks, and even a little bit of play in some modern decks. Target opponent may have risk factor deal four damage to them. If that player doesn't, you just draw three cards. I mean, it's 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 great to deal damage in a burn style deck, but also that card draw ability. You get them down. This has happened to me where this card has defeated me because my opponent just has too much card draw ability, or I can't take that damage. I'm about to die. Uh, this is one card that I think surprised a lot of people. It even surprised me. I didn't think it would be this high. I think it came out at a dollar fifty. I mean, this is a rare. From Guilds of Ravnica. It's at 960, so hats off to Risk Vector. It's doing its thing. Zakama Primal Calamity. Just a huge, monstrous Elder, uh, I want to say Elder Dragon, but it's an Elder Dinosaur. Uh, really cool artwork on this thing. Nine drop, just ridiculous when it gets out. The, the devastation it causes. Um, you can tap three, deals three damage. Tap three, destroy an artifact or enchantment. Three again, you gain three life. It's a nine nine vigilance reach trample. What more do you want here? Just just one. It's a monster. It's 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 a monster. Ed Johnny, adversary of tyrants. This thing has really fluctuated a lot. I remember seeing it all the way down to about five bucks, and I remember seeing it as high as fifteen. Right now, it's at ten fifty. I think that's pretty decent. But this this is a really cool card, especially um, even if you're running like some kind of cat tribal thing. If you're, uh, if you're just looking to get some plus one, plus one counters on some creatures, I mean, I have utilized this card to its, to its max in all three of the steps here. The plus one, the minus two, and the minus seven. And then when you get those one, one white kitties to come out, it doesn't, really, it doesn't seem like it takes that long to get them to come out. Um, and it's easy to protect this card because usually you're running a bunch of creatures in order to protect it. So, uh, And you're making your creatures bigger every turn. And then you can return something for two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I mean, even in a human's deck, this would, you know, work out. Uh, $10.50, that's a pretty fair price right now. Sarkhan, Fireblood. Three drop. Uh, huge flux on this one as well. It's uh, It was at 8 bucks for a little bit, and uh, it was real high all the way up to, I think, 21 uh, during the hype of uh, a couple decks, one, in, one being Dragons uh, from the last standard, but... Really neat card, really cool Planeswalker, $11.50. Uh, it probably is going to maintain that price, I would assume, right around there. It shouldn't go too much higher, too much lower. Vraska, Golgari Queen, eleven fifty five. This one's dropped since release. I think release was about $15. Um, it, did, it did climb a bit, and then it just teetered off. But again, this is a card that sees a lot of play, uh, especially that Golgari deck. And there's just several different uh, brews for it. You can check them out on my channel or other... Uh, YouTubers that are making deck techs. Uh, really, really fun card. Um, all three abilities are great. That minus nine, though, I've noticed that it, I have not won a game with that. It came down to it, and I think the opponent conceded when I would have won, but the damage alone would have killed them, so it wouldn't have mattered if we got that damage in um, by a creature to kill them. Uh, either way, it wouldn't have mattered. 
But Raska Golgari Queen 11.55, I'd say that's probably a fair price for this card. It, it could go up. I mean, depending on what Golgari does in the, the coming up uh, tournaments here, we'll see. 11.55, The Immortal Sun, 11.85, six to bring out. Um, yeah, definitely commander wise, uh, people are going to be playing this card. Players can activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities at the beginning of your draw step. Draw an additional card. I mean, just card advantage is crazy. Spells you cast cost one less to cast. That's amazing. And creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So legendary artifact. This thing is all around is like, what? Like jaw dropping. But the six casting cost has kept it out of quite a few decks, like in modern and whatnot. But if it finds its way into a modern deck with this, uh, it's 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 going to devastate. But usually modern's too fast for this kind of card. So you'll see it mostly like in your commander builds. Uh, $11.85. Pretty neat. Jade Light Ranger. This thing dropped all the way to like five bucks just a couple weeks ago, and now it's back up twelve sixty. Uh, foil versions again. Remember, they're going to be a lot more expensive than what you're seeing right now. Uh, I think the foil was all the way down to nine. Now it's back up to twenty. I mean, cards jump when decks get hot, and Jade Light Ranger is just one of those cards that I'm surprised there's even a price drop on it. Um, being a three drop, and then that ability to explore twice. Uh, you're getting a four three for three. But also you're able to, you know, fix your top deck, you know, and you can even get a land in your hand. I mean, there's so many nice little tricks with this explorability. Uh, and then you can do it twice is really cool. 1260, I'd say it should stay around that price. It's a great card. Really, it is. March of the Multitudes, 1265. This card's jumped a little bit too, uh, up and down. Convoke, uh, we already know what that does. Create X11, white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. I think this is going to drop in price. Call me crazy. Uh, it's at 1265 right now, but I found there's other cards in the current standard that I believe I would rather have over the March of the Multitudes. Um, that five drop creature, it's a one four, and your creatures get plus one plus one, and then you splash down some tokens in a to or two tokens in a token kind of generating deck like that. I think that I like that other card better, but then again, I guess if you have a ridiculous amount of mana, March of the Multitudes is probably not a bad way to go. So then, plus you can convoke creatures, just making you even more ridiculous. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, Exemplar of Justice. Yep, we saw it at 16 or 17, I think it topped out at. And now it's at 13, 15. The Boros stacks are losing some of their, uh, some of their hype. And uh, they did come out swinging pretty good that first week. But after uh, things have gotten settled a bit, this card has dropped to 13, 15. I don't expect Boros to put up big numbers like it did uh, in the last uh, event. So we'll see what happens with this. Crucible of Worlds, 1420. It's a reprint. There's other copies out there. Uh, you may play land cards from your graveyard. It's 1420, but it's not doing anything in the current standard. Uh, this card will just continuously slowly go up in price. That's just how it is. There's decks that run it in modern, and they're pretty sick. Um, I'm sure there's going to be something legacy and vintage and what that. But $14.20, this card will continuously go up in price. That, it's, it's a fact. So, and other, There's other prints of it, and it's not mythic. It's rare because it was before the mythic time. But $14.20, great price for it. I would pick some up. Why not? Uh, Vraska's Contempt. This thing's jumped a bit, too. I remember it was down to 7 bucks. Uh, it was as high as, like, 24 Now it's at seventeen fifty. Uh, will it stay around seventeen fifty? Probably. But definitely once standard rotates out, this thing's dropping in price. 100,000% once it rotates out. It's going to be for like a year from now. When I say rotate out, don't get crazy. It's, it's like a ways away, guys. But just really cool ability. Resplendent Angel, another card that's jumped up and down. But, man, Angel, I'm glad to see Angels being so uh, kick butt, <laughs> I guess you could say. It's a really exciting time, especially with the token generator. Um, that you can, uh, instead of putting down a 1-1 one, one creature, that you know token, it becomes a 4-4 four, four angel with Vigilance. That's really cool. Um, this Resplendent Angel is, is no exception to the cool angel cards out there. Uh, this thing, I don't think it's going to say at 18 bucks. Uh, decks get hot, man, but this thing, it's going it's to drop down again. Uh, 18 is pretty high for it. Assassin's Trophy. I, well, I called this. A lot of us did. You know, a lot of packs get opened. Eighteen dollars twenty-five cents. It started out at like twenty-six. I think at one point it was like thirty. It was just ridiculous. But there was no way it was going to maintain that price point. Um, I, I said it would go between fifteen twenty. It, it should stay around there. And I'm not taking that back. I don't think it's going to drop. But below fourteen, I think, would be the low on this card. Just an amazing removal card. Vivian Reed, nineteen twenty. 
uh, another card that was way down and it's finding its 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 use now like for sure in those creature builds um, looking at the top four cards of your library you can reveal a creature or a land card from among them and put it into your hand put the rest on the bottom of your library in any, any random order that's really really neat there's not only like dumping it in your graveyard but also destroy target artifact enchantment or creature with flying another really cool card even to get rid of angels in the current standard but just really for card draw uh, advantage and that emblem is nasty as well 1920 Depending what these decks do, depending what these creature decks do, will depict what Vivian does in standard. So I don't think it's going to stay in 1920, though. I expect it to drop. Vraska Relic Seeker. This, I don't know how this thing got up, honestly, to, to 1930. I know it sees a lot of play in the Golgari builds with the other Vraska, but I don't. it can't stay in 1930. Um, the, the Pirate Token's great with Menace. That's cool. But the main thing that people like about this is to try, destroy target artifact creature or enchantment. That's really neat. And then also you can get some mana out of doing that with the uh, uh, the treasure token. So a cool card. I don't know how it's, honestly, I don't know how it's at 1930, though. I think it's going to drop. Carnage Tyrant. I love you. You're, like, my favorite card in the current standard. Uh, artwork, everything about this card, its ability, um, especially to, to slap around those people who love to play uh, blue or black control or just whatever the case may be. It's got trample. It's got hexproof. It's a 7 6. Watch out, man. I love this card. It should stay around 20 bucks. Bolus the Ravenger. I don't know what more you want from it, man. It's a sick card. <laughs> it really is. Even in Dragon Deck uh, recently, it's found its way. Uh, but it, it just it sees a lot of play overall uh, in various formats. It's, it's very powerful. I mean, when you look over at its uh, abilities here, once you flip it, you get to draw two cards for plus two. That's ridiculous. Um, the minus three, it deals 10 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Like, it's, come on. Put target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard into the battlefield of your control. That's ridiculous. And it's minus 12. Exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. What? All right. <laughs> 2080. Uh, Bolas, I, I can see him going back up in price uh, soon here. Search for Ascanta, just probably the best land we've seen. Uh, best flip land, legendary enchantment, legendary land we've seen in a long time. If you're running blue, you're nine times out of ten running a search for Ascanta. It's found a way into modern decks as well, but, man, just really awesome card for card advantage. Doom Whisperer, 23 bucks. This thing, I'm still surprised it's as high as it is. Uh, I, I, I can see it coming down, like 15 bucks. It's a great card, but with all the removal and counter spells and everything, I mean, I really tried building an Angel Demon deck, and I found it rather difficult. Maybe I just need more duress. Maybe I need more uh, things to get cards out of my opponent's uh, hand. Maybe some more discard, but uh, it does find its way into a lot of other decks. Being a five drop with the flying trample and the surveil, I mean, that's, it is ridiculous, but I don't think it's going to maintain 23 bucks. Lyra Dawnbringer. I call it the Lawbringer. So nasty. I just love this card. The artwork, 2315. It's like the, it's the modern Bane Slayer right now, um, but in standard, you know. Uh, those two cards, Baneslayer and Dawnbringer, after rotation, should maintain about a very similar price. Um, but definitely in Angel decks, you would want to run this. Other Angels you control get Pulse on Pulse 1 and have Lifelink with the First Strike, Lifelink, Flux. It's a nutty card. I can't see it maintaining 23 bucks for too long, though. Maybe, like, come down to about 15 20 after rotation. We're talking, like, 8 to 10 Rekindling Phoenix, just a really cool card. 23 85 this thing, it, it fluctuates a lot as well. Um, it's, it's very difficult um, to deal with. Uh, you have to have, like, double removal on this thing. Otherwise, it just keeps coming back for more. Pretty cool card. Or exile it. There you go. History of Benalia, 2485. It did drop all the way to about 11 bucks a couple weeks ago, but, man, it's finding its way into decks. Very aggressive style decks and token-generating decks, all that kind of stuff. Um, awesome card. Knights, humans, whatever. 2485, I don't think it's going to stay that high forever. Um, maybe uh, a couple more tournaments here, it, it should maintain around that price. But, yeah, it'll come down eventually. But seriously, a very powerful card. She's a lot of play. Car and Sign of Urza, 2495. This is, I believe, our number two spot. Uh, yeah, it's Karn, baby. What do you want? It, it's Urza. You see him in the background, even in the artwork. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Gotta love it, um, and the church panes and everything, the glass behind it. Really cool card, twenty four ninety five. It should, it, it should stay around there. Maybe I mean, once it's, I think a nice, sweet, some kind of crazy artifact build is really going to put this thing on the map. Uh, I, I just don't think it's been built yet. Um, if it was, I mean, the price would spike, but it was as high as fifty five bucks for a while. 
until this thing came along <laughs> in the same set. Two of the nastiest Planeswalkers. So one thing that blows me away, Tefiri, Hero of Dominaria. Why did none of us notice that? He is the hero of Dominaria. He is the hero of an entire plane. When this card first came out, it was at like 12, 14 bucks. Holy smokes, were we all wrong about that? This thing tripled, quadrupled in price nearly. 46, 65. Foils of this thing. Promos are like 120. Just ridiculous. Amazing card. It's the number one most expensive card in the current standard, and uh, it ain't going nowhere. Believe that. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning into this. I, I enjoy putting these videos together. Um, someone once asked, how long does it take you to do a video like this? Well, if you must know, Bill, uh, it takes about two to three hours, sometimes a little longer. It, they're not uh, short and sweet. This one, I think, took almost four or so. But I do appreciate every like and every share you guys give me. If you want to help the channel even further, you can find other means to support it by checking the description uh, in every video. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and PLA.